We're starting to work on this area near our base where there's an island in the middle of a big valley. So we are currently on the island. We built these docks and it is surrounded by cliffs and a base is over there. You can kind of see where the beacon is. If we hop in a boat as well, we have a little cave over here, but I want to work on some more stuff around this area. And if we come into the cave, uh, wait, who, who are you? It looks like we've had a villager move in. And just like our florist, it's a strange new profession we haven't seen before. Hello, sir. Or ma'am. Of course I don't mind. Welcome to Ruby Hollow. What do you sell? It can give us sea pickles or water buckets. Allow me to go get my rubies. One moment. That's so cool that we have a diver living here now. Wait, why are we so low on rubies? I guess the beacon really used most of them. I'd really like to top them up though, because then we can see what else here sell us. So let's do a little top up using our pumpkins and melons and we'll take them over to our lovely farmers in this house. Okay, I'm ready for some sea pickles. And what else have you got? Oh, coral. Wait, I love how it's the pink and magenta kinds specifically. It totally knows what matches our area. Wait, these make good decorations here and they shouldn't die either because there's water just underneath. Anyway, that detour aside, let's talk about our buildings here for today. I think the main thing I'd like to do is a couple of builds in the water. So I was thinking a big lotus flower and then over this side, I want to do a big cherry blossom ship. Cherry blossom as in, I want to use cherry blossom petals for the sails. It may not make sense, but I think it'll be a cute fantasy ship. Let's do a quick little supply gathering though. I think, yeah, we have plenty of spruce, which is good because the base of the boat is mostly going to be spruce. But we also want cherry wood, which we will need some more of, and jungle wood, which we might need some more of. Let's start with the furthest out. We'll go to the jungle biome. Look at the sunset. It's so pretty. But also danger. We are going to sleep. We'll get a few vines while we're here since we have vine growth turned off. So we're always running out of those and they're good to texture pretty much everything with. Honestly, they become a way better block to use when you do have vine growth off, I've found. Because they don't go everywhere. But then of course, other than that, hello birdie, we need to get the trees. Then while we're out here, we'll also get some oak. I totally forgot we want oak for the masts. And also probably for texturing with spruce. It's always a good texture block because it's kind of the same color as strip spruce. Hello? I knew I heard a funny sound. You're so cute. Wait, I see another one over there. Oh, so cute. Wait, are you, wait, why are you running? I think this one's a scared one. Let me see your face. Okay, I can't even see its face. It's too scared of me. Oh yes, it's got the little worried eyes. <laughs> Hello, are you okay there? Obviously, we have to feed the pandas while we're here. So cute. I will never get sick of these guys. They're so adorable. Anyway, distraction aside, I think we have enough oak now. We have about a stack of oak and two stacks of jungle. So let's head back, which is this direction. And decimate a cherry grove for both the wood and the petals. And that is everything we need, so let's go build a ship. <laughs> that was close, I almost fell. So we want to be somewhere over here. Oh, and it's raining, okay. So we probably want the back to be somewhere where I'm standing. I think that's about right. Oh, thunderstorm. Let's build up from all the way down here. Okay, let's go along about, I'm going to say nine blocks. We'll have a go at that. Oh. Hello, I don't really need to trade right now. Kazuko. Okay, well, I guess you guys can hang out here and then we'll go over here and go 8-9. And because I don't know how to build ships at all and have no confidence here, I have a reference picture up. So this will be very similar to the reference. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16 maybe? I'm not copying the reference at block for block just because I think that will be very difficult. It's not a super clear image but we will roughly go for the same shape. What do we think, Kazuko? Is this the right size? 
then from this end it'll keep going but it'll taper in slowly to make the point of the ship we'll do a stair and then a block and then again then we'll do the pointy bit at the end and fill in these sides a bit better and we have the shape of a ship it's very spruce heavy at the moment though we definitely need to texture it I also need to fill in the kind of top level of the floor so it'll go along like this but I think we'll texture the outside first so we'll use some of these oak logs we we'll use some jungle logs and we'll want our vines and our banners okay so if we start with the banners oh I think there's a trident drowned wait it's a baby with a trident what the heck Oh my gosh, he could kill me. He could actually kill me. Trident? Oh, I really wanted the trident from the baby drown. That would have been a first. I don't know if I've ever even seen that before. Anyway, let's go like this along the sides here to break up some of the wood. Oh, what the heck is this? Is he gonna drop his trident? No. Anyway, back to the rest of our texturing. Ta-da! So ignoring my shulker boxes and crafting table, I think we have a nice textured base now. It's not looking too sprucey anymore and I've also filled in all of this. So we've got the little back bit up here and then the main area of the ship. And this way down is very temporary, but we also have this underneath part. And there's even some little porthole windows. So now we just need to get out all of our pink cherry leaves and start working on the masts. This is looking so cool, I love it. We've got our beautiful cherry blossom sails and I decorated the top of the ship a little bit. I don't really know what goes on the top of a ship, but we've got a lot of storage barrels and chests and some lanterns and a little bit of seating. And this, I guess this is like a lifeboat, I don't know. But I think it is looking so cute, look at it. From down here this absolutely looks like a tree, which is kind of funny. But anyway, we also have these little porthole things and when we come down into here we are inside the ship i was thinking the ends of these would probably be more storage because they're an awkward shape but the middle would probably be sleeping quarters so i want to get some wool and make some beds and do that we'll continue with our pink ship theme and use pink wool for pink beds hold on i kind of want to try magenta as well which we can do with this magenta dye and magenta wool so now when we go down here we have the cute sleeping quarters for all of the crew with our pink and magenta beds we have some bookshelves and some storage at the ends and that completes our ship. I love it, it's so cute. I do think the backdrop to the ship is a little bit ugly with all this dirt, but we could get some moss and bone meal it and maybe add some rocks and flowers. I can't imagine doing this entire area right now, but we'll do the part near the ship. Okay, this is looking a lot better with the moss and we've got a lot of rocks as well as these tall flowers. And of course the cool thing about moss is it plants plants itself like these little azaleas. So that is a nice little touch. This backdrop to the ship it does look a lot better now. And I would say that this is like a quarter of the entire area. So we could probably get to the whole thing at some point if we just chip away at it. But right now I wanna go over this side and see if we can make a big lotus flower. So we'll definitely need to get some pink blocks. So we'll see what we've got. Should we try for pink concrete as our main block? 
I do like it. It is very nice and bright. We'll just have to match some other blocks to it. We've got pink glaze terracotta, pink regular terracotta, or we could go magenta terracotta. I kind of like these two together. Okay, we'll make some more pink concrete and see how we go. In the end, I decided to go for a couple of smaller lotus flowers because I thought that any bigger, they might overwhelm the space a little bit. So in total now we have one, two, three big lotus flowers and I also made all these little small ones using trapdoors and coral. This area is looking a lot cuter though for us to come downtown near the portal. We've got lots of decorations and practical things like our boats to ride off to the side and our water elevators going up to the top. But while coming back and forth to our near the portal and the cave, we now have pretty things to look at like the ship and the big flowers. And with that accomplished, I think that will be all for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.